Next we'll see temperature stresses in composite bar. A composite bar means it is a, a combination of two different of bars of different materials rigidly fixed together. Composite bars expand or contract as a whole. Okay, as a single unit it expands or contracts. When subjected to change in temperature, uh, the final change in length of all the materials will be the same. So this is a composite bar consisting of two bars of different materials as shown in the figure. So there are two uh, materials, material 1 and material 2. Uh, so what happens is if alpha 1 is al greater than alpha 2, that is alpha 1 coefficient of linear expansion of material 1 is greater than alpha 2 coefficient of linear expansion of material 2. And if the bars are free to elongate separately, the elongation of bar 1 will be equal to alpha 1 TL and the elongation of the bar to uh, and that of bar 2 will be equal to alpha 2 tl okay alpha 1 tl arikum adinde elongation and evadathe elongation will be alpha 2 tl so free expansion alpha 1 tl is greater than alpha 2 tl namukku ariyam alpha 1 tl is greater than alpha 2 tl aanu ariyam uh, since the two bars can only expand together, the final elongation of both the bars will be the same. Final elongation same arikim and let it be equal to x. Let this be the final elongation. Uh, final extension x should be less than alpha 1 tl and it should be greater than alpha 2 tl. Uh, so uh, in bar 1, the free expansion is prevented by an amount alpha 1 tl minus x and it is subjected to compressive stress and in bar 2 the free uh, bar 2 is elongated by an amount x minus alpha 2 tl and it is subjected to tensile stress okay it is uh, elongated by an amount of equal to x minus alpha 2 tl uh, it is subjected to uh, tensile stress so it is subjected to pc and pc pt one bar 1 is subjected to compress compressive stress and bar uh, 2 is subjected to tensile load. So contraction of bar 1 is equal to delta L1 is equal to alpha 1 TL minus X and uh, elongation of bar 2 is equal to delta L2 is equal to X minus alpha 2 TL. So delta one, L1 by L dividing by l you will get l alpha 1 t minus x by l and delta l2 by l is equal to x by l minus alpha 2 t that is delta l1 by l is e1 is equal to this and e2 is equal to this that is uh, on adding e1 plus e2 we get alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into t uh, e1 is sigma 1 by e1 plus sigma 2 by capital e2 is equal to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 by alpha 2 into t so this is the expression for uh, temperature stresses for a composite bar sigma 1 by e1 plus sigma 2 by e2 is equal to alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into t the concept of uh, one bar will be subjected to uh, elong contraction and that will be subjected to uh, contraction of the bar that is subjected to uh, compressive stress and the elongation of the other bar will be subjected to elongate and it is subjected to tensile stress so adinda both bars in them elongation and dana gandodikya strain and dana gandodikya adinda we will get the stress as this formula so for equation equilibrium of the composite bars uh, pc should be equal to pt that is sigma 1 a1 should be equal to sigma 2 a2 by using these two equations we can find the temperature stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 okay p seam p team equal irikana compressive force and tensile force and equal irikana so other which it you will get a relation between sigma 1 and sigma 2 our relation one day substitute the ten angle sigma 1 and sigma 2 better that is how you solve the composite uh, how you calculate the temperature stresses for composite plates composite bars